Hello, it's me, Wade again. It's been uh, some time since you've uh, heard from me, since I made a video. Sorry I don't make regular content, I'm busy with life. Anyways, uh, video is uh, gonna be a little discussion on uh, Expert Games, someone who I subscribe to. I like his content, he's a Dragon Ball YouTuber, but he ends up making this video talk about Limit Breaker Bardock. And okay, this is where it gets a little nuts. Now, he starts talking about, uh, you know, uh, wanting to bring over Bardock into Dragon Ball Super and, and you know, how people really want to see uh, Bardock in the show and he doesn't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but for some reason he thinks it's going to happen and he kind of talks about bringing elements of Xenoverse into the freaking show and oh god, I gotta, I gotta call him out on this man. Like, for the video games, yeah, seeing Bardock, you know, in it is kind of cool, but it's a video game, you know what I mean? It's not official canon, it's like sort of a side story, an alternate what-if, right? That, that's, that's fine, but for like the main Dragon Ball series, like, I'm, I'm so fucking sick of only Goku and his progeny, or Goku and his direct DNA line being able to be the strongest or be the hero ever. Like, and then, then there's, of course, Geekdom and uh, Quaman, who's now Detective Q, did a video talking about Oob and Wasted Potential and basically, you know, ripped, you know, GT a new one, how it was just uh, Dragon Ball Goku time and it was only about Goku and how all characters were irrelevant but Goku. And uh, Dragon Ball Super, you could basically call it uh, Dragon Ball GT 2. You know, maybe not as bad as GT, but it's like basically a Dragon Ball GT too. That's what it's becoming. And like already so many, like, yeah, the, the tournament, you know, in Dragon Ball Super, some characters are kind of more open. That's nice. I do like to see that, but even though they're there and they're kind of helping out in this tournament, they're still basically irrelevant. It's still, we all know what's going to happen. Everybody is going to get their ass beat while boring always wins predictable Goku and his progeny gets to save the day and, it, and it's so fucking boring and i'm so fucking sick of only goku he's the main character you know it's a big goku story fuck you take that and stick it straight up your ass I, I, i'm so sick of that fucking excuse it's goku the main character how about letting somebody else fucking win for once how about letting somebody else beat a major villain it's not like you can never go back to goku it's like but for fuck's sakes, change it up. Mix it up. Do you know why One Piece is better than Dragon Ball? I'll tell you why. Because all characters are relevant. All characters on that crew get to have their, like, you know how Dragon Ball Z used to be about the training and the, you know, getting stronger and going through struggles and overcoming your limits for everyone? That's what it's like in One Piece. Everybody gets to fight, like, kind of, sort of like their own mini bosses and gets to overcome, and they feel relevant. They feel useful, even though, yes, Luffy's the main character. Yes, he does get the majority of wins. Yes, blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't feel as cheap like Dragon Ball does. It's not... That's why I think uh, One Piece is better than Dragon Ball in terms of how it treats its characters. Because they're all relevant. And bringing Bardock into Dragon Ball Super would be the stupidest fucking thing ever. Because you think it's bad now with Goku, Gohan? Well, bring Br friggin' Bardock and you can guarantee fucking T he'll be super strong, super powerful, super relevant, and everyone else will continue to get fucked over, especially my favorite Vegeta, which we all know Toriyama hates Vegeta, and will never let him be the strongest or be the hero ever, we will never let him clutch win an important fight ever, we will never give him his own arc, which he deserves more than any other character in that entire series, bar none. You know? Vegeta's just lame. I, I, I know, I've already did a video how I want Vegeta to die, because I'm tired, sick and tired of seeing my favorite character get the shit kicked out of him, constantly get embarrassed, and never get his due, which he has earned more than anybody else. And let's not say other characters don't get fucked over or screwed over or, you know, don't get their due or don't be relevant. I'm not saying that, but anyways, it's just, uh, yeah, Expert Games. I like your channel. I like your most of your content, but that's fucking dumb, man. Bringing Bardock into Dragon Ball Super would make all the other characters even more relevant and would give any other character other than Goku's direct DNA line even less screen time and importance. So, terrible, terrible idea. Why do people only care about Goku and his fucking progeny?
Mm, Goku's the main character. Fuck off. I grew up watching the original Dragon Ball and then Dragon Ball Z and I kind of watched GT but I fucking hated it because it was Dragon Ball Goku time. But it's like even Dragon Ball like what was even the other characters seem more relevant than the other characters did more even though it was about Goku's journey and Z um you know of course you know everyone got fucked over and it was only Goku and his progeny basically but at least it didn't seem as bad in Z but in Super it's even worse it's like you know like Vegeta constantly gets fucked over like over and over again like you know if you read the manga of Super everything Vegeta gets in the manga he doesn't get in the anime and they just give it to Goku. 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 We know Goku's gonna get some stupid limit breaker friggin new transformation so very bad idea guys. We don't need Bardock in this series. I would make it much worse to be honest. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Do you want to see another of Goku's DNA? You know end of the show? How about this? If you're so obsessed with Goku and you only want to have Goku and his friggin' progeny and his DNA, why don't you get rid of every single Z fighter? Get rid of Tien, get rid of Krillin, kill off 17 and 18, get rid of all those fuckers because they're so goddamn irrelevant. Get rid of them and just go back in time, do the stupid time manipulation, time breaker, Bardock, fucking, and, and just bring back everyone who is of the direct DNA descendant of Goku, bring back a bunch of the Saiyans or whatever, and just have them as the characters. Just have them, because then at least, you know, you know that they're all going to get some time because they have Goku's DNA. Is, is that what you want? Is that what you want? Do you want a just Goku? Like, it, that's what it feels like. Goku is, like, the only character, and, and Gohan's, like, the only character. Like, why don't you just, like, get rid of all those characters, just wipe the slate clean, just only have Goku, Gohan, and a bunch of his, you know, and then traveling throughout the universe, and, you know, to save the day. It's like, oh, God. Like, Dragon Ball has some amazing fights, you know, I love the action and all that, but it's just, I'm so sick of what they're doing with the story and how they treat the characters. They treat them like fucking garbage. Enough's enough, guys. Enough of fucking Goku. I freaking hate Goku because of this. I want, you know, I'd love for fucking Goku to die off again and have him disappear from the fucking series for a while. Let some other people do something. Like, god damn it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Peace out.